And a mother is demanding answers as to why her little boy has stopped walking. She tells CBM News twice he was rushed to the hospital within a short period of time after what were routine vaccinations at school. Along with an outstanding MRI, she says the hospital has promised her something definitive by next week. This evening, we begin to retrace the steps with her to see when she says a seemingly mysterious illness took her child away from the family. Up to February 22, four-year-old Zorane Hamilton was a playful, happy little boy here at the Church of Christ Basic School on Bryce Hill Road in the Kingston 7 community of Augustown. Well, it turned out to be the last day he was at school. Well, this is where the little boy is now, a patient. For far too long, as you hear from his mother, who is very concerned. And my name is um, Latoya Thomas, and Zorin Hamilton got the polio vaccine, and from that he's not well. Knowing the potential of a fever for all the children at the school, who under the Ministry of Health's school program on that day, also got the OPV, oral polio vaccine, which protects from polio, and the DPT that prevents diphtheria, pertussis, and tetanus, it was agreed they could stay away from school. When he came home that day, what sort of child came home to you? He um, did. He wasn't feeling well when he got the joke. And the next day, he had a very high fever, wherein which I have to took him to children's the 29th of February. So That's the first time you took him to the hospital? Right. Because through him have the fever, we're saying he took a go with him. They're saying that um, he had a severe year's infection and they do blood tests, it's negative. They do an x-ray and it was negative at that time. And they give me um, antibiotics for his um, ears infection and they said um, he must go home. However, they're saying they found um, bacteria in his blood. Why didn't that show up before when they did the first set of blood tests? They're saying it's not the, the polio vaccine that walk late and he talks late. However, he can speak now. He knows letters, he can count, he can do whatever. But it's just a bit slow. When they're saying that him speaking late can cause, that cannot cause my child to be partially paralyzed. But I have a feeling they know exactly what is going on because it's the first they're getting a case like this. That's the reason why they're doing all that tests. 